Halloween will be celebrated this weekend, and the university has some activities to help you get in the spirit. It's right behind me in the Texas State Music Building, where some of the most musical students and professors can be heard on campus. Homecoming Week inspired many Texas State organizations to step up and help the community. One example was the Omicron Psi chapter of Zeta Phi Beta. People are now able to vote for their winners, so go out and vote for your winners. Artists up for awards include Beyonce for Tour of the Year and R&B Album of the Year. I know Shane's sorry about that. Many people in San Marcos rely on public transportation. They can't simply hop in their car and head to their destination. It's more complicated than that. Well, it's helped me out personally because I can't drive anymore. Cart San Marcos, now known as the bus, has added to its fleet to carry more passengers, offer new routes, and provide a more cost-efficient way to travel about town. I strongly believe in public transportation. And at my age, that's really kind of important. I'm just tired of driving everywhere. I think it's good for the environment. I think it's just really a good thing to be a part of. The five new buses each come with 29 seats and free Wi-Fi. They run on ultra clean diesel, which is better for the environment and may prolong the use of the buses. They're comfortable, they're efficient, and um, it's a really good beginning, again, as I said earlier, for a new way of looking at how you get around town in San Marcos. Coinciding with the launch, Carts is sponsoring the bus contest. To enter, riders are required to like Carts San Marcos on Facebook and post a picture on the bus or of one of the bus stops with the hashtag SMTXTheBus. The contest ends on October 19th. The winner will receive a $30 bus pass and a $20 gift card to Outback Steakhouse. After I got a vehicle, I still use the carts, and that's why I decided to park and walk over to celebrate this today's day of this uh, free wired launch for carts. Bus rides cost $1 for a one-way fare, $2 for a daily pass, and $30 for a monthly pass. If you're a Texas State student, the trip is free with student identification. Fare is half off for seniors 65 and up, for persons with disabilities, and for students in elementary or high school if they have an ID for verification. So if you're looking for a more environmentally friendly and cost-efficient way to travel, the bus in San Marcos will get you from point A to point B in no time. For Bobcat Update, I'm Travis Tyler. With all the commotion going on with the elections, the student government at Texas State decided to take all that energy and put it into something students could be a part of. This has been in the works to do a uh, political debate and, you know, it, it, it wasn't jabbing at one another, it wasn't um, any sort of high-spirited crazy debate, we just wanted a discussion. Student government, along with the College Democrats and College Republicans, held a political debate in the LBJ Student Teaching Center to discuss policies and share their stances on prominent issues that are hot in today's news. Yeah, I feel like I really helped push um, the Democratic Party's message of inclusion. Um, I really wanted to stress that, you know, we're a party that believes everyone is equal and everyone can come together and make our country better. So um, that was my goal, and I feel like I accomplished that. During the debate, the students were allowed to ask questions to College Republican Representative Connor Clegg and College Democratic Representative Ben Salinas about their positions on certain topics. One of them was directed to the Republican, and I was going to ask, uh, since, he's, um, since he believes abortion should be legal, um, what does he propose that we do to help uh, the women who can't afford an unplanned child? Many attendees said they felt the debate went well. I think that we did it in a way while also informing people of uh, ideas that they may not have been familiar with. I know that I was opened up to some ideas that I wasn't familiar with, and it was very exciting. Some felt a bit differently. It was interesting, especially because um, neither one of them really seemed that familiar with the party's platform and, and weren't really in tune with them either. This is the second event held by student government in a series called Bobcats United, whose goal is to bring forth discussion and encourage students to address issues that are important to them, as well as bring unity to the community of San Marcos. The way it's set up is to where um, students can come and they can address the student government, say, hey, we need to have a Bobcats United event for this, that, and the other. So if you're interested, go to studentgovernment.dos.txstate.edu for more details on current and past events. Or you can stop by their office on the fourth floor in LBJ. For Bobcat Update, I'm Travis Tyler.